What are the keys to being a successful blocker? You know, there's a couple of different keys to being a successful blocker. One of those comes from balance, footwork, and as well as hand eye coordination. Uh, those are very good things. Also, sports, being able to figure out the right angles. How can you evaluate offensive linemen prospects? See potential. Well, you know, there's a couple of different things. Some of it comes from their base, of how they move in space. Some of it comes with their balance, and then some of it's overall strength. How does Jamal Charles compare to the other Chiefs running backs that you have blocked for? Well, you know, the good thing about Jamal is that he's made quickness and speed when he's receiving, and that makes a big difference. Um, I had a chance to play, to play with some of the best, so that makes a little difference. He's still young. Man. Can you tell me a little bit about your foundation? Yep, the World to Succeed. Throughout the Kansas City area, we also work with winners. Of all NFL and college players, which players were the hardest to block? Uh, I think for the NFL, you know, we had a good defensive tackle named John Randall, uh, Trevor Price. Those are two guys that were very hard to block. What current players remind you of yourself the most? You know, there's a young guard at uh, Kansas City that sort of reminds myself you know, of uh, what I do. He's a real good tackle. Uh, sometimes they're going to move him in the guard. I think he'll, he'll break into the starting lineup next year. Now when